Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding how to use Crosshair X, so today I'll be going in depth and answering all of them. I will be showing you guys how to use Crosshair X in full screen mode and all the other hidden features that you might not know about in the app. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to use Crosshair X in full screen mode. So that way you can use Stretchers and a custom crosshair at the same time, or if you just prefer to have your game in full screen mode, then it'll work either way. So first, just open up the Windows Store and then type in Crosshair X extension. So right here, Crosstrex extension, then you want to download that. So once you have it downloaded, click Windows G on your keyboard, and then you're going to um, find the Crosstrex extension right here. You might have to go to the controller bar and click the drop down or whatever and then find it, but just uh, when you find it, open it up. And then once it's open up right here, you're going to click the pin buttons right here so that way it shows up over your screen. And then click center so it's in the center of your screen, and then you should have it right there. Now the last step is just make sure you have your Fortnite on full screen mode and then you should be good from there so now i'm going to give you guys a rundown of all the basics of crosshair x and i'm also going to show you the features that i use personally so if you guys haven't watched my original video i made on this um i like went down like the absolute like bare minimum of it and like just like how to use it so i'm just going to do that again for uh for those of you who haven't seen that so in the feature tab this is where all your pro player and content creator crosshairs are going to be and then it also just give you like a little bit from the community workshop right here too but if you guys want to save any of these, click on the bookmark, and then it'll save automatically into your library. And then if you go to the Save tab, then this is where all those are going to be. And then to select the crosshair, literally just click on it, and then it'll be on your screen. And then in the Community tab, this is where every other uh, crosshair made by the community will be. And if you guys want to publish one for yourself, go to the Designer tab, and then just mess with all these settings until you make one that you like. And then you can click Publish right here. This display mode really doesn't matter. I mean, it's just like... I guess it's just like a tutorial kind of but then in the position and size tab then you can change where you want the crosshair on your screen and how big or small you want it so that's just preference so this is my favorite feature in the app if you go to the keybinds tab you can like select what crosshair you want depending on what gun you're using so to do that click on new and then select the crosshair that you want I'm just gonna do this one just for example and then click select so um, if you're if you want like a specific crosshair for your AR or shotgun SMG whatever it may be uh, click on this right here and then uh, just select the button that you have that gun in your inventory to. So if I was using just G for example, if I had G for my shotgun, then I would click G and then every time I click G now, it'll switch over to that crosshair. And then the same applies if you're on controller, you do the same thing, click right here and then click your controller button that you want. And then the last feature that you're going to need, if the crosshair isn't showing up, make sure that it's actually visible up here. So if you just click on it, then it'll disappear and then click it again, it'll show up again. Yeah, those are all the important features in the app. So those are all the important features that you guys should know about in Crosshair X. If I missed anything or you guys still have questions, let me know. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. But if you found this video helpful, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe with notice on so you don't miss any more uploads from me. But anyways, peace out and God bless.